aren't paying taxes or just hang stuff. <laughs> 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 I, um, I mean, I, I know that you're saying you know, we're both concerned, so it's our dreams for the future. I mean, one of my dreams would be for you to ask, for me to ask for you to resign, maybe even with Brett Lacey. I was a little disappointed that the west side was not evacuated at all. North, south, and east evacuated. And we weren't evacuated at all. I felt like that was a huge mistake in your part. Two people died. In my profession, when two people die, you know what happens to me. So I was really disappointed to hear that. I want to hear the mayor's response, not yours. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at I also mayor's want to know how Councilman Hente's house has survived. His whole freaking neighborhood has survived. Because right. Colorado Springs Utilities has their own wildland fire division, and they preserved his whole neighborhood. How could they have preserved his neighborhood on the wildland urban interface and not mine? Right, thank you very much. Let's talk a little bit about the evacuation there. Well, for, for, first of all, you lost your home. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Well, I am, and everybody here is. I, I can't imagine what you're going through. Yeah, what about the people who died? Let's I talk about them. I feel a lot better about, about them too. Yeah. And, and here's what I'll say to you. Okay. I've been in this office for, at that point in time for a few months. I come from the civilian side of the world for 45 years. And so I really haven't known anything about city government or government law until I've done and, and I'm just going to look in your eye and tell you, I think our people did everything they could to save every home they could. I know you don't have to I'm just telling you, in my opinion, and nobody's home was selected over somebody else's home. Where was the evacuation order? Why did Manitou Springs get evacuated? Where's their mayor? They've never had this experience either. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel the way you do. Yeah. I'm sorry you feel the way you do. Um, we relied on what the federal incident commander suggested to us, and I think I said earlier, on that fateful Tuesday, earlier that day, we were told that the fire was moving, I believe, at a quarter mile an hour. Is that right, Chief Brown, Fire Chief over here? It was moving at a quarter mile an hour, and we were told, and I'm not blaming anybody, but the best intelligence on the ground from the federal government, the state government, the Forest Service, um, weather forecasting people was that we had four to five hours before the experts thought that fire would come over to Queens Canyon. That can't be true because I had a firefighter come to my office in the morning and say the fires are going to shift against yeah. you. Can okay. Get up to your well, thank you very much. I, okay. I know the fire chief would be happy to speak with me here. We're almost yeah, done. Why don't you visit with Rich Brown and more? Ma'am, thank you. This is a town meeting when the public is well, supposed to be able to ask the questions. Well, this is government for you folks. I hope you're watching, kids. Well, I did, I did, I did give you a response. Let me, let me just finish, let me just finish this one point. Your concern, your concern about President Hefe's home being saved when others were not burned. Uh, if, you have, if you have any facts on that, bring those forward. I, I cannot believe that. I, I was there. I was there. Well, if you, if you think you have a legitimate point, then I encourage you to come forward. You can come forward to Dan May, the district attorney. You can come forward to Chris Nelson, the city attorney. Do, do what works for you. All I'm saying is, from my vantage point, I think our uh, public safety people have everything doing them possible to save as much as they could. And, and that's my opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry for you folks. Well, you know what, though? I'm, you know what? This is government. Well, here's some, here's some more government. Here's some more government. Let's make an appointment. Brenda Bond Murray. Here's my personal assistant, Brenda Bond. I'm going to ask this doctor to make an appointment with my assistant, and you come down, and let's sit down around a cup of coffee or whatever you want, and let's re let's answer all your questions. I don't want to cut you off. We're out of time here. But, you know, really, I, I would like to have more chance to listen to your thoughts. Maybe I can learn some things from you. There's Brenda Bond. Please make an appointment with me. What's important about government is... What's important about government is... We promise something to do it. And, and if you really want to serve people in government, then you got to not only listen to them, okay, but also give them a chance to follow on. We don't have time tonight for her to ask the rest of her questions, but I think it's fair since she's so concerned to ask them to come and meet with me. And we will do that. And, and uh, by the way, I'll bring whatever staff in you want if we need that. So, again, I'm sorry for your loss. I really am.